I'm so intri- Don't you fucking come at me with this depressing ass commercial about how fucking goddamn depressed everyone is. I'm aware. <laughs> you don't have to remind me. I'm very, very aware. Dicks? <laughs> I am acutely aware of the millennial strife. What happened here? What? That's not what I did. I clearly clicked on the unmute and then did this. What is happening? What is happening? Who are you? Um, hey, hi-ho, and howdy, everyone. It does not matter. You're here, and that is all that matters, and you're beautiful, and that's all that matters, even if you're ugly like me. Oh, God. Um, Ruby Fairy Tales. The Shallow Sea. The Girl in the... T no, that one comes later. Um, yeah, The Shallow Sea. Ooh, what's this about? Ooh, I don't know. Ooh, I'm intrigued. Um, yeah, I, 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 I'm curious to see what this is about. This is again, the shallow sea is the only of the um currently uh name dropped fairy tales in all of uh Ruby proper that hasn't been either at least expanded upon and kind of explained or made very obvious. Like four maidens. You know what the four maidens are? It's extremely important. Da 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 da. -da. Girl in the Tower, Lost Fable, Salem, da 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 da. Um, fucking, uh, Two Brothers, The Gods, Them Dicks, fucking Dickhead and Douchebag, um, w w We're Aware, um, uh, The Girl Who Fell Through the World. Uh, while we haven't had that story directly told to us, we get what that is. <laughs> it's, it's Alice in Wonderland, it's, Yang fell in a hole, um, <laughs> and then everyone else did too, um, but yeah, so, like, but the Shallow Sea, I don't think we've had anything on, and I'm, I'm very, obviously it's been in the book, you guys already know, but I don't, this is a mystery, is it, is it, is it, is it about, is it, is it, is it about a sea that's shallow, um, I don't fucking know. No, dude, we're just gonna see. All I know is there's a big, weird-looking motherfucker on it. Big, weird goat man? What is that? Is that racist? Faunus? I'm sorry. Um, it's a big, weird goat man. What do you want from me? Um, I don't know what it is, but I'm very curious to see what it's about. Could it be about Faunus? Could it be about, um... I don't fucking know, dude. Well, we're just gonna go ahead and check it. We're gonna go ahead and check it and see it and wreck it. Ralph. Um, what? Anyway... A sip of this coffee. It's not as cold as I would like it to be. It's been sitting there for a minute. That's why. Doesn't matter how fucking cold my feet are. The desk isn't as cold. Um. Anyway, Ruth Fairy Tales: The Shallow Sea. Will it be shallow? Will it actually be an ocean? What is truly the difference? Um. Anyway, what is the cutoff point? Where does a sea become an ocean? Is there actually a legitimate difference? I mean, I feel like there is because it's like, there's the seven oceans or whatever the fuck. Eight? I don't remember. The seven, seven continents? The seven seas! Like, I don't know what the fuck. I don't... I don't know, dude. What I do know is, we're about to watch this episode in three, two, one, go! No, no, no. That was a little late. Um, oh, I should probably turn the video on, huh? Faunus parents entertain their children with bedtime stories about oh, it is? where they came from. We are oh, it is the Faunus. We were chosen. But chosen by whom? The god of animals traveled all over Remnant, seeking those who were a little more than human, and invited them to sail to the shallow sea to discover their destiny. You did not fit in where you came from. But I know who you are. Leave this boat. Enter the water. It will wash your old life away and show what you've always been just below the surface. You belong here. You are home. Oh, I'm fucking so intrigued, dude. Some of the people left at the chance the god offered. Others were more skeptical. Though the sea did not touch you, it has revealed your own shallowness. 
fables often teach lessons, hmm. such as the importance of yeah. the, the skin. But for Faunus, yeah. the story of the shallow sea does something more vital. It reminds them from a young age that their own lives have value. But Faunus are forced to grow up quickly. As they mature, they learn darker stories in which the truth lies closer to the surface. Many, many years ago, in a faraway land, there was a war between humans and animals. Why do you fight each other? Are you Are human? You animal? I am neither and both. Why are you fighting? They, they are, are not, not like, like us. us. Why must everyone be the same? We, we worry, worry about what, about what they, they might, might do, do to us. us. So you have something in common after all. Judge not what you fear others. Oh, this is already like one of my favorites. I'm so fucking invent. The evil in their I'm so intrigued. They're even more capable of destroying things than they are creating. Animals are stronger than us, but they will not join us in fighting the Grim. You tried to control us. Why should we risk our lives to protect yours? The Grim have never bothered us. All we want is to be free. You are too wild. You must be tamed so you won't steal from us. All we want is to live in safety and in peace. You assume the worst about one another, but you are more alike than you know. If only you could see your best qualities as I do, and embrace your differences. I can end this conflict here, but only if all submit to my judgment. Whatever so spoilers, uh, you de if you do this, it definitely doesn't end the conflict. <laughs> I've seen the rest of the show. It actually makes it a bit worse, arguably. But it's a cool idea. I think it's a compelling story. It's interesting. Also, the god of us, then that's a whole other being, presumably, not related to the other two? I don't know. Do we see him in volume nine? I don't know. I'm so interested. I'm so intrigued. I thought the god would choose the superior species. Perhaps they have. Were you human or animal before? It doesn't matter anymore. I can see so far. Look, I have hands. I'm so strong. I'm walking like a monkey. Seems we are neither human nor animals now. Then what are we? Better than both. And it seems we now have a common enemy. <laughs> We live here. Don't you know us? We don't even know what you are. Please, no! Were we so narrow-minded when we were human? Humans are dicks. Yes. We talked about this earlier. <laughs> and so the Faunus left in search of a place they could live peacefully together, where they could become the best versions of themselves. These fables may seem fantastic, yet they reflect the real and unfortunate history of conflicts between humans and Faunus. Yeah. And though different versions of the same story, they have some things in common. Faunus leaving behind their old lives to create a new future for themselves, as well as the notion that humans and Faunus need each other to survive. If we all set aside our differences and work toward a shared purpose, how much better would Remnant be for everyone? So fucking cool. That's the best hey, one. That's so good. That's so fucking good, guys. Oh, Jordan uh, directed that. That's actually really cool. Um, has he been doing most of these? I actually haven't known uh, whether or not uh, he's been super involved or not. That's cool. Shout out to Jordan. I was just listening to Face Jam yesterday. Um, is he in the green chili burger thing? Anyway. You can actually pick up the book that this... Oh, there's a lot of voices. Um, God of Animals, Cody Hawkins, Brianna Laura, George, Clara, George, Joshua Caden, 
bunch of cadence. Um, and an and another crest down there at the bottom. A lot of them I do not recognize. I wonder if they're more just like random RT folks. Um, that is my favorite by far. That's so interesting. Especially since we don't get an explanation yet. They still have... It, that doesn't give us an explanation yet and also gives us other questions. Either way, I've always been... The, the fauna is really interesting because I, I've, I've always kind of wondered how... Obviously, how the faunus come to be and what they w what route they would go with it. Um, how, how does that come into be? And obviously, we had I, my assumption usually went towards like, well, they maybe came into be because it's um, the the uh, the gods or like the god of light or something trying kind of a second time to bounce, or it's uh, or it's the god of darkness or something like fucking around when just being like, eh, let's keep them divided. Let's let's make it hard for them to figure this shit out before we come back. Like I don't, I don't know, but I really like like either of these two takes are are interesting because like one obviously is the first. You have like well, it's the shallow sea is like it's the sea to see through what is skin deep, like what is what matters deep down and stuff like that, and like yeah, sure that's what you look like in real life. or that that's what you look like on the surface but what does that fucking mean it doesn't matter if you have fucking cat ears or you got a monkey tail or whatever the fuck it doesn't matter you're still a human deep down um even if again they are technically considered a different species um but then you have the other the other one which is super fucking interesting as well which is hey why are you two fucking fighting knock this shit off you ain't that different like you you're both complaining about the same shit like you're both you are you are uh, you are alike in your difference you are you are alike in your in your distrust for one another and your like it, 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 the things that you're complaining about with each other are the same things and I like I don't I just think it's really I think it's really interesting obviously the big question is what the fuck is the god of animals? Where did he come from? Who's this motherfucker? <laughs> this, big, big, this is the first time we're hearing about you. Obviously, the questions are... I don't know, is there and has there always been another god on Remnant? Is he still there, if that is the case? Did he also leave uh, when, the, uh, when the brothers abandoned it? Uh, did he get, did he get invited along for the fucking ride? Like, hey, you guys are making a world? Cool. Can I fucking kick it with the animals that you're making and shit? Or, I don't know. I'm very interested. Or, is the God of Animals total bullshit? And it's like, Ozpin using his magic to try doing something similar. Like, why are you guys fighting something like that? I don't know. There's so much room. And again, we don't have a definitive answer. And I'm curious. I, I assume we will get one someday. But that's really fucking cool. That's so cool. That is such an interesting fucking story. That is by far the most interesting one so far. Because the, the previous two is like, one, ooh, spooky story to explain a grim. I dig it. Uh, ooh, story explaining kind of like the importance of unity and stuff. Which this obviously does as well. Oh, but that's cool. Though the sea did not touch you, it has revealed your own shallowness. I really like that line, too. I genuinely think the... I'm just reading through comments. I genuinely think the animal god is one of the twin brothers in disguise. One of them... Or both of them, considering the magnitude of... Or multitude of similarities. It's possible. And again, the question is, is... Is maybe the god of animals in volume nine, and maybe we see that, and he's there, and you fucking introduce to him, and maybe it's like, yeah, the other two kind of suck balls, right? What's that about? Maybe we work together because they they're dick. Like I don't know. Ah, oh, I'm so fucking intrigued, dude. That is so fucking cool. I take the canon to see if this being the origin of the ground. It's literally two different stories. It's not going to be both of them. So I would say you're probably right there, bud. Um, I 
I'm so intrigued. This is easily one of my favorite. Like this, this gives me the same feeling that the original Four Maidens fairy tale did. Like it just, it feels like, hey, it's a really cool story to explain something in the world and make you think and touch on like kind of act as a fable and kind of teach a lesson and stuff. Like it's, it's really fucking cool and it feels really good. That is, that is one of my new favorite little things in Ruby. I really hope we get to see more on that, whether it's in volume nine or, or later on or what. But that's so interesting. Also, again, I do love that it very explicitly doesn't give you the answer. And again, neither of those would have been my guess as to why Faunus exists. That's really fucking cool. I really like that episode. Shoutouts. Uh, Eddie, everyone else who worked on that, that was really fucking cool. Um, I'm definitely going to have to read that that story for sure, because I'm sure that is possibly expanded upon a bit in there. Um, that's cool. I wish I had more to say other than that is really fucking cool. And I'm really curious to see where we go from there in, um, in, in the story proper. That is super fucking neat. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Uh, I, yeah, it's weird. Cause the other ones, I, I think I talked longer on despite this one being my favorite so far, just cause I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say other than that was really fucking cool. And I just, I want to see more. Um, next one up is the indecisive King, which also should be really fucking interesting. I do suspect. I'm also curious the indecisive King. I'm wondering if that is also going to maybe have something to do with uh, the King of Vale. I feel like it probably won't because the King of Vale seemed like he had his shit together. Guessing by the thumbnail of that one, man does not seem to have his shit together. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you so much for watching. You guys enjoy. Give us some love. And I will see you all in the next episode, uh, whenever that happens to be. That was really fucking cool. That opened up so much more shit. Dude, between that and the ending of Volume 8, it's like, we could do anything. <laughs> Hi, we're crew. We could do literally anything. And you're going to be like, it's pretty fucking neat. And I'll be like, yeah, you really could at this point. <laughs> I got to be honest with you. Uh, it's awesome. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoy, give some love. I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, that's fucking cool. Cool.